Well, hey, what's up? I want to talk to you guys about some really exciting news today, and that is the release of Control IQ from Tandem Diabetes. Now, Tandem makes this really cool insulin pump. See right here? And they're releasing Control IQ to the general public shortly. That's right, it's not out yet, and I'm not on the pump yet. I'm still MDI, but I want to talk about what Control IQ is, what it offers, a little bit more of the details that are included in the Control IQ algorithm update for all of the Tandem Pump users, because with this pump, you just plug it into your computer, grab the update, and you're good to go. So that's really cool. But what is Control IQ? So in Control IQ, essentially, it is an algorithm that is meant to keep you in range, keep your blood sugars in range for a longer period of time. Now we talk about A1C versus time in range, right? This is going to increase your time in range. Now the in range that we're talking about is between 70 and 180. That's the range you want to stay in. Now, the way that Control IQ is going to keep you in that range is by adjusting your insulin in real time. Now, the one thing that is a little bit of a bummer for people who don't have this set up yet is that you do have to have both the Tandem insulin pump, the, uh, the T-Slim X2, right, and your Dexcom G6. With the Dexcom G6 communicating with the insulin pump, it is able to predict what your blood sugar will be 30 minutes in the future. This thing can tell the future, how cool is that? So with it predicting your blood sugar, it will analyze the patterns that it sees, right, of where it thinks you're going to end up, 30 minutes from the present moment, and depending on where it thinks you're going to end up, it will adjust your insulin accordingly. So, here's the numbers everyone's been waiting for, right? If it predicts that you will be below 70 within 30 minutes, it will cut insulin. It's gonna stop insulin altogether until it predicts that you will be above 70 within 30 minutes, okay? Now, hopefully that makes sense. There's a different number though for decreasing your basal insulin. So you get basal throughout the day, right? You have one type of insulin in your pump that is going to be your fast acting insulin. There is no uh, Lantus, Traceba, all that kind of stuff, which is what I'm on currently. I'm on Lantus doing MDI experiments, but the second this thing comes out with control IQ, I'm gonna jump over and, and put it to the test. But um, with that being said, it can cut your insulin and that's going to have an increase uh, or it's gonna, have, it's gonna help, basically. You avoid the low blood sugars. So if it cuts insulin, it's gonna help try to keep you above 70. Now if it, it notices that you're gonna go below 112.5, it is going to decrease your basal insulin. So I talked about in your pump you have fast acting insulin, right? It's going to decrease what your basal settings are giving you if it predicts that in 30 minutes, you're going to drop below 112.5. Now, I've never seen a 0.5 on my Dexcom graph before. I don't know why it's a 0.5, it's very precise, but that's the algorithm. So if it determines you're going to be below 112.5 within 30 minutes, it's going to decrease your basal. Now, if it thinks that you're gonna stay in between 112.5 and 160, nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna keep going just as normal, it's gonna keep you coasting. But if it thinks that within 30 minutes you're going to rise above 160, it's going to increase your basal insulin, so your background insulin, right? And if it thinks that you're going to be above 180, let's say you got an arrow up and you're like, oh no. If it thinks you're going above 180 in 30 minutes or less, it's going to deliver a small bolus of insulin. Interesting, right? So that's the parameters, right, of the, the Control IQ that Tandem Diabetes is putting out. I'm very excited to test it. It also has an exercise function, a sleep function, there's different settings for those things. And uh, I'm very curious to test it out. And you can bet that the second that comes out, I will be testing with all of my experiments and hypotheses and, and letting you guys know what I discover. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Again, it will be released to the general public shortly. And uh, fingers crossed that it's real soon, right? But I'm excited for it. If you're on Tandem and a Dexcom G6, you should be excited for it too because it is an update that just comes with your pump. How cool is that? Uh, and I believe they'll be delivering that through emails to your providers and you have to get it approved from your insurance provider. So there might be some battles there, but uh, I wish you guys the best in getting that. Now, of course, if you want to be on the same page as me and you want to be able to identify your trends and patterns, figure out why blood sugars do what they do and not rely completely on a machine, I invite you to check out the Trending Health Journal. I've got one right up there and I use it all the time. It's super helpful for identifying trends with your foods, your exercises, your sleep patterns, your moods, all that great stuff. And you can grab yours today at trendinghealthjournal.com. I'll see you guys there in the, uh, the next video where I hopefully update with you 
I'll update you with the Control IQ, and we get to have a cool chat about that. So keep an eye out for that. Go grab your Trending Health Journal at TrendingHealthJournal.com. Have an awesome day. I wish you the stablest of blood sugars, and keep up the fight.